this is the last the last thing I wanted to share about. Choose one space that is your starter project. So just it now don't skip Okay, don't skip like, okay, I'm going to start organizing. No, you've got to create your schedule, create your routines, figure out how long the task takes. Okay, because even a starter project like this of um, cleaning out one surface of your desk or one surface of maybe a counter in your kitchen or a surface on the bathroom vanity, that could take you an hour. That could take two hours. Okay, but it's a starter project. I have never done a cluttered space that takes less than an hour okay let me show you another area a starter project this could be a starter project okay when you realize you know what i have three and a three and a half hours i have four hours extra every day okay one of those days i'm going to start organizing one shelf in my linen closet one shelf in my entryway closet one shelf in my kitchen cabinet that's a starter project, okay? And then you have, what What did I say in number um, three? Ob observe how long it takes to do your routines and tasks. So this is a, ta a task. How long did it take you to clean that one shelf, to declutter that one shelf? How long did it take to declutter that surface in your bathroom vanity, okay? That's what I do. I even take note of how long it takes me to organize anything, whether it's in a client's home or in my own home. I know when it's like, I have to do my fridge. I'm doing my fridge actually today. And I want to show you my recent project as we um, close out here. So as I mentioned, my husband has a Pilates studio. And for the longest time, I'm like, I'm gonna get to your studio, I'm gonna get to your studio. So I finally did. I was saying that all year, finally did. And these are the before. I'm not trying to throw my husband under the bus. If he's under, if he's been thrown, then anyway, he's he's back up. He's not under the bus anymore. But he knew I was going to show this. Um, so I don't work there at all, as you know. Okay, but as you can see, I've tried to organize this before for him. And what I did before he, um, I re, I, you know, I'm going to go in. I'm going to organize. I asked him, okay, what did not work for you? Like, I thought it was very organized. What did not work? And, you know, he told me, like, uh, bottom line, there's too many things that he needs to put in here that he didn't know where to put them. Okay. So example, one of the things was the batteries. Look at here. He has the batteries with the keys. Okay. So he's got double A batteries. And then in this other drawer, he had the triple A and then these, I think there's C batteries. What, so what I knew was like, it will work for him if I separate the batteries. Even if there's two here, I could get a different container and make it smaller. So I had to separate each type of battery, double A, triple A. That's pretty much all the battery sizes he has. He definitely needs a place for his coins. Like that was working for him. So it became this. And then you could see that I changed the um, drawer liner. Let me just um, summarize or just go back over. What are you overwhelmed about? Okay, so if it's your daily schedule, create a daily schedule, create routines, um, observe how long it takes to do your routines and tasks, and start living in your reality self. Write your top three to do uh, for the week, and then choose one space that is a starter project. Okay, guys, so I did want to leave by letting you know that I do now have my merch store open. I will be adding more stuff right now. It's a lot of like travel things as far as like um, here you get Barcelona or uh, we'll travel for sushi and things like that. But I will be adding more kind of um, sayings about uh, organization and things. But just wanted to point that out. So I hope you enjoyed or learned something. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you didn't enjoy, sorry. <laughs> um I will be back here uh, the first Thursday of November, and I will be having a guest, and we're going to be talking about being organized for travel, okay? And then in December, I have a special guest that you may know. I'm not going to divulge it yet. And then in February, I have another special guest that's in this uh, space of organization and homekeeping, same with December. Uh, that you're gonna you're gonna love thank you so much for joining this live stream and uh for those of you watching in the replay thank you for being here
hope this helps and I will see you in the next live stream. Bye. Make sure to give your loved ones a hug and see you soon. Bye.